Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us. The teams then, Real Madrid against Liverpool. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. Real Madrid go for this lineup. Keylor Navas keeps goal. Rafael Varane, Sergio Ramos, Daniel Carvajal, Marcelo, Casemiro, Modric, Tony Kroos, Vasquez, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, tasked with leading the line. There's the whistle. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Karim Benzema is worth a shout for me, for a, a big fella, he's very mobile, deceptively fast, and a fine goal scorer too. And if the supply to him is good here, he'd be looking for more than one. Yeah, hard to see past him, he'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Cristiano Ronaldo. Van Dijk, has the route one option. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Mohamed Salah cuts it back. He's delivered all right! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Lovren cuts it out. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Casemiro pumps it forwards. Now the pass. Rafael Varane does well there, alert. Cruz plays it out to the wing. Cristiano Ronaldo passes it square. He scored! Now listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no sledge. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. And he's there to hoof it away. How about it? Are the balls come loose? Or Navas gets it away. Mohamed Salah spooned forward. Casemiro. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. That'll be a corner. Attempt, but not quite good enough.
Van Dijk gathers from the goal kick. Mohamed Salah! He's missed, but not by that far. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. Cristiano Ronaldo goes pulsing down that left-hand side, goes wide. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Going for goal! Goal! Real Madrid! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. And they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Roberto Firmino passes it through. He's gone for it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. It's anyone's ball. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Matip goes long and forward. Clearance and very necessary. Tony Kroos. Now it's Benzema. Looks to slip it through. Tony Kroos. Aimed long and direct. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcelo. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Cristiano Ronaldo crosses. Good save. Really well read. Oh, great save, real class. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. <laughs> Mane puts his foot on the gas. Now it's Mohamed Salah. And it's the whistle for half-time. So there was the first half. Well, Peter, I'm just thinking of the best way to describe that. Frantic, um, frenzied, it was unmissable and it was irresistible. Forget about the analysis on this one, just enjoy it. Liverpool don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Vasquez gets it back. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Casemiro spreads it wide. Corner then. Great leap! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so... There wasn't much chance of success. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho, and only a goal will do for them. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Van Dijk pumps it upfield. Firmino with the ball through. Real Madrid finally get themselves a breather. Sergio Ramos, crunching tackle, now it's Roberto Firmino, he's gone for it, tremendous from Mane! You know, we may be looking at another classic here, I'm not going to guess what's going to happen next, but that is great togetherness and resolve. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. This is quite a battle. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched. He's not played the ball, that's a foul.
Now it's Mane. Looks like a good ball through. Daniel Carvajal. Liverpool hit to make a change here. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Wonderful quick feet. Van Dijk tries to get it forward quickly. Who's going to make this theirs? It's a loose ball. Casemiro knocks it away. That'll be a throw in. Modric. Chance to shoot. He's had a go! He scores! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Liverpool take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Benzema. Tries a through ball. What an adventurous run from a defender. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Mane tries to get it forward quickly. Mohamed Salah gets into some space. Whipped in. I've managed to get it away. It is a corner. Rafael Varane, out to the left it goes, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Real Madrid have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Salah. Oh, that's a real stopper. He's put an end to the threat. Marcelo, Cristiano Ronaldo. There will be four extra minutes. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And it's Firmino, Mohamed Salah. Aimed long and direct. And the referee brings it to a close. Liverpool did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Liverpool were given a fantastic boost with their early goal, and the edge it gave them and that extra belief and confidence just made it much harder for the opposition to settle. I think it was a crucial, crucial early impact. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all. Can't say